नमस्कार आई एम मेजर डॉक्टर आश्लेषा तावडे केळकर आई एम अ कम्युनिटी मेडिसिन स्पेशलिस्ट द वर्ल्ड टुडे इज ग्रॅपलिंग थ्रू अ ग्रेव पॅन्डेमिक ऑफ कोविड नाईन्टीन द करोना व्हायरस डिझीज ऑफ टू थाउजंड नाईन्टीन इज कॉज्ड बाय अ न्यूली इमर्जंट व्हायरस सार्स कोविड टू दॅट वॉज फर्स्ट आयडेंटिफाईड इन वुहान इन चायना the disease which is primarily of the respiratory system but also involves other systems in human body the first case of covid-19 in india was found in state of kerala in january 2020 since then we have come a long way fighting this battle how does this disease covid-19 spread Transmission of SARS-CoV-2 can occur via direct, indirect or close contact of infected people. When an infected person coughs, sneezes or talks loudly, the droplets of respiratory secretions or saliva are expelled. The droplets are 5 to 10 microns in diameter, while the droplets which are smaller than that, less than 5 microns in diameter are called droplet nuclei or aerosol and airborne transmission is one where the transmission of the disease causing organism is by these droplet nuclei or aerosols for my transmission that is transmission of the virus through infected objects or surfaces is also observed in covid-19 period of communicability evidence suggests that SARS-CoV-2 can be detected 1 to 3 days before the first symptoms appear in a patient. The viral load can be highest on the first day when the symptoms appear and thereafter it slowly declines. The RT-PCR test for a symptomatic patient can come positive for 1 to 2 weeks. for mild and moderate cases the rt pcr test remains positive for up to 3 weeks and for severe cases it can remain positive for more than 3 weeks to 4 weeks so as per the government of india ministry of health and family welfare guidelines now the covid-19 patients are categorized in three uh, categories mild moderate and severe mild category is where the patient shows respiratory symptoms such as cough or uh, sore throat along with fever or no fever but there is no shortness of breath breathlessness or hypoxia on pulse oximeter the oxygen saturation is maintained that is the category um, which is a mild category you need to consult the doctor but you can have home care and isolation The second category is moderate category where you have respiratory symptoms but the oxygen um, saturation is between 90 and 93% on room air and the uh, respiratory rate is around 24 per minute so 24 times if uh, one calculates the patient is breathing 24 times in 1 minute severe category is where the respiratory rate is 30 per minute and oxygen saturation is less than 90% on room air this category definitely requires hospitalized care and intensive care another category is the individuals who do not have any respiratory signs or symptoms but if the rt pcr is conducted for sars cov2 it comes positive who amongst us could be these individuals and we may be spreading unknowingly the disease infection in the community and that is why it is extremely important for all of us to take precautions all the time while we are in the community wearing of mask proper hand hygiene and social distancing now for those patients who have been advised home isolation and home care and their relatives and caregivers what is a must do is wearing of mask inside your house everybody in this house or in this family must wear masks all the time also proper hand hygiene 
is a must. You have to monitor these parameters. First is temperature, oxygen saturation and if at all any shortness of breath, breathlessness, difficulty in breathing appears, you have to contact your treating physician. If the patient has any comorbidities such as hypertension or diabetes, monitor those parameters such as regular BP monitoring or glucose or blood sugar monitoring as per the treating physician's guidelines. Awake proning is another technique by which you can actually improve the lung capacity and lung perfusion which in turn will help improving the oxygen saturation in blood. So everybody must learn this technique of awake proning. Make sure that the patient is well hydrated, should drink enough liquids through the day and gets healthy meals which are light on stomach. The room that the patient chooses to stay in should be well ventilated. Since all of us are prone to getting infected by COVID-19, we all must have a home care kit ready at our houses all the time. What can this kit contain? A portable pulse oximeter, a digital thermometer, a portable BP monitor. If you have a member who is diabetic, you can have a glucometer. A simple steam inhalation machine. If possible, an electric kettle for boiling the water. Along with that, we must have masks and N95 masks and hand sanitizers at home. We can have some simple medicines in this home care kit such as antipyretic paracetamol 500 milligrams, some lozenges, ORS solution and we all must know that the medicines which are regularly consumed by family members should be available in adequate amount. Multivitamins and minerals are also recommended. Along with that, Ayush Ministry has also given some guidelines regarding certain medicinal preparations, kadhas. We can prepare them at home, consume them in prescribed quantity. They can help in prevention as well as alleviation of symptoms of respiratory tract infection. If we have a patient of COVID-19 at home, the caregivers must remember that the bed sheet, the linen, the clothes, the pillow covers, etc. need to be separate and washed separately. Also the utensils that is cups, plates, cutlery, they need to be dedicated for the patient and they also need to be washed separately with um, antiseptics and with precautions. The caregiver must all the time wear masks. He or she should observe himself or um, for any symptoms if they develop in, um, in those days. Frequent cleaning of door knobs, handles, uh, light switches, etc. is also recommended. Coming to vaccines against COVID-19. We are fortunate to have developed vaccines against COVID-19 in such a short period of time. In India, two vaccines have been authorized so far for emergency use. One is Covishield, which is developed by Oxford, AstraZeneca and Serum Institute India. And the other is Covaxin, which is developed by Bharat Biotech. Covishield is manufactured by viral vector based technology, which is also used to manufacture vaccine against Ebola. And Covaxin is a whole virion inactivated coronavirus vaccine, um, a technique which is also used to manufacture a uh, vaccine against rabies, influenza and hepatitis A. The dosing schedule for the vaccines uh, is similar, 4 to 8 weeks between two doses of the vaccine. Do we have a choice of vaccine? No, currently we do not have a choice as to which vaccine we would be receiving. Is it mandatory to have this vaccine? No. It is not mandatory or compulsory to 
get this vaccine against covid-19 but it is advisable it is recommended to take vaccine so as to protect oneself and family members co-workers friends to prevent the spread of the disease in the community the vaccine has certain side effects such as fever chills myalgia that is muscle pain injection site pain but these side effects are no different than any other vaccine side effects the vaccines are extremely safe and they are required to prevent the infection and also to reduce the severity of infection of covid-19 vaccines developed in india are as safe and effective as any other vaccines developed anywhere in the world vaccine is contraindicated if one has a history of anaphylaxis or it is contraindicated temporarily if one is having active sars-cov-2 infection or is being given recently the sars-cov-2 monoclonal antibodies or convalescent plasma therapy otherwise during pregnancy and lactation the vaccine is contraindicated seriously ill patients the vaccine is contraindicated temporarily when should you take a vaccine for covid-19 if you are suffering from covid-19 currently you should take the vaccine 4 to 12 weeks after complete recovery of the disease but yes it is necessary that you take full schedule of covid-19 vaccine even after you have suffered from covid-19 infection that is because the development of immunity after covid-19 infection is not established whereas the immunity that is developed by the vaccine is much stronger and it remains for longer period of time the vaccine is highly recommended for people with chronic diseases such as cardiac pulmonary neurological and renal and malignancies the vaccine will in fact help reduce the risk of severity of the disease and adverse outcome in these patients also these vaccines do not contain any live virus so it is safe to be given to people with compromised immunity when you go for your vaccination session please remember that you have to wear protective mask all the time you have to maintain social distancing and strict hand hygiene all the time please wear comfortable clothing and keep yourself hydrated and please keep adequate time at hand adequate immune response takes 2 to 3 weeks after completion of entire vaccine schedule that is both the doses of the vaccine that you have received that is two doses of covishield or two doses of covaxin how long will you be protected once vaccinated the longevity of the immune response in vaccinated individuals is yet to be determined and that is why it is extremely important for all of us to continue to wear mask maintain hand hygiene and social distancing even after being vaccinated i request you all to go ahead and get vaccinated encourage your family friends and co-workers as well to get vaccinated against covid-19 the vaccines are safe and effective and that is why please do not fall prey to any of the false and negative rumors while we get vaccinated please remember to protect ourselves with protective masks hand hygiene and social distancing covid harega desh jeetega jai hind